welcome back once again. It's a special, very special edition. The last Macworld edition. Of Root Access, Ryan Ritchie, Jamie DeGrazio with you. You know that, you know, normally we answer your tech questions and we'll be back and we'll do that. <laughs> Root at the digitallifestyle.tv to send those in, but we didn't want to want uh, we didn't want to let Macworld pass us by yeah. here, that touching baseness. So we've talked about the swirling of, of rumors, rumors Macworld, about obviously. Macworld. Why are they leaving? Why is Steve not doing the keynote? All that. If you missed that, check out the earlier sections. But let's get to the meat and potatoes. Mm -hmm. Sell the steak, not the sizzle. <laughs> Let's talk about these rumors. Number okay. one, iPhone Nano. iPhone Nano, which you've called a year ago. That's true. If, Go back and look at the ago. tapes. Yep. You yeah. said I think last Macworld you were calling for mm -hmm. an iPod. iPhone, or iPhone Nano. Nano, smaller iPhone. Didn't see it then, but. And I think it's real. I mean, all these case, now there's what, like two or three vendors, case vendors, mm -hmm. have at least leaked either images of like a prototype case or they have it, they have it on their website listed. I think it's legit. What do you think it would not do that would make it be $100 less or less attractive that you would still want to buy the, the real iPhone? Well, somebody mentioned, and this kind of makes sense, that it wouldn't have the web browser and maybe hmm. it wouldn't have mail, Ooh. but you could still use all the apps from the store. Hmm. And, and then like the built-in apps and iTunes and, and you know. Any chance it's an edge device to get more penetra market penetration? I doubt it. No. I mean, my feeling is because it's smaller, I mean, is it, is it going to be too small to use a browser? I mean, even with the, the, the zooming. Right. But at what point is an iPhone not an iPhone? I mean, if, if the big selling point is that it's this multi-purpose thing, and at that point, if it's just a phone that allows you to put, you know, a farting application on it. <laughs> well, I mean, the big thing would be iTunes. You know, you can still use, it still can be like an iPod replacement. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you still have the App Store, so it can still play games. It can still, you know, do you think fart. <laughs> do you think that's, uh, do you think there's a part, I wonder if there's part of the market that that's attractive to. I mean, it seems to me the iPhone, it, it makes sense to me because the current iPhone is just a little too big and maybe a little too... I um, don't want to say corporate -y, but a little too stuffy mm -hmm. for, say, the teenagers. Well, I mean, I, I mean they might want five colors and, and a smaller phone, sure. and maybe it's all plastic and a little bit more. I mean, kind of like the iBook versus the, the PowerBook yeah, back. I mean, I still think the biggest barrier with the iPhone is, one, and it's only available on AT&T, mm -hmm. and, and, and two, the price. I mean, 199 is cheap, but a lot of people are still used to getting free phones or $50 right. phones. So if by making it smaller and taking out the web browser, um, you can get it down to maybe 150 maybe $99 with a contract. Mm -hmm. And maybe this is a way of Apple um, being able to break away from AT&T. I don't know what that contract would be. We don't know when that's over, yeah. Maybe if they come out with a separate device, they can have that on other carriers, which would be great for them. Interesting. Um, so I think it's legit. I mm -hmm. think it's real. We'll have to see what. So two thumbs up for the iPhone Nano. Okay, let me make my little thumbs up marks there. <laughs> Uh, up next is this ridiculous rumor, as far as I'm, I guess you know how I feel about it. Yeah. Came out earlier this week. Some sort of media server? Yeah, like it's going to host everything and dish it out. That you can watch it? Max Wouldn't or... it make more sense? Apple could do this all server side on their side. They know what content you've purchased. You could just stream it if you've bought it. There's no reason to have a box hooked up at your home. No, you could have all that work with your Mac. Right. Like, I mean, that's sort of what... Apple TV does now, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, it finds music and video that's on your network, on your Macs, and, right. and watch it. Right. So, yeah, I, I don't, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I don't think, I think there's such a small market of people who want to do that, mm -hmm. to have like a server. And isn't one hobby enough? I mean, you got Apple TV as a, <laughs> exactly. as a hobby. Yeah. It, why do you want another physical box to try to sell people? Why not use this? Tie it into Mobile Me and make it be a thing that you can log when you log into Mobile Me. There's all of your music you've purchased and all or, of your or movies. Or could you just tie it into Apple TV? You could have a dock connector hanging off Apple TV mm -hmm. or a dock, you know, just a you know USB cable, right? That you plug in your iPod and whatever's on there, it just syncs right over. Right, right. So that way. You can kind of eliminate the computer. Like if you purchase iTunes, you know, music and videos straight from Apple TV, then mm -hmm. you can just plug in your phone and your iPod. 
not need a computer. You know, the, the Mac was sold for a long time as the hub of your digital lifestyle. Perhaps now the cloud is the hub. The cloud, yes. The, you don't really, it's not and, really and about then, the computer. And there's also, I mean, they have Time Machine now. Like, mm -hmm. couldn't they repurpose Time Machine to do some of this? Right. I don't know. I, I think it's bogus. And I heard a strange rumor uh, regarding bringing the Apple TV functionality uh, to Macs. Yeah, I don't see how that's different than front row. Yeah. That's uh, not. Let us give us the ability to record, perhaps. That would be exciting. Yeah, I mean, there's still, like, what are they going to do with Apple TV? Are they going to, is it not going to be a hobby anymore? Are they going to jump feet first in and, you know, give it some updates? So, like, you see Apple TV and you see some of these, like, hacks that are done to it. And some it makes it really very, cool. very yeah. cool. Yeah. But you, that, it needs to be that way right out of the box. Very nice. Now, moving on. This is this one's near and dear to my heart, mm -hmm. the netbook. Yeah. I'm telling you, these people are eating up these netbooks. Uh, on TDL Live this week, we, we had the results from Amazon and two of the top 10 sellers. So one was the 16 gig, I believe, iPhone, or 8 gig, and, or iPod Touch, rather. Uh, must have been the 16. And then was the, uh, it was the Aspire netbook. Mm -hmm. Do you not want to get on this train? Well, it almost seems like that's what the air should have been to begin mm -hmm. with. You know, it should have been, because um, being thin isn't really a problem. I think people want it smaller. Right. You know, they, they want it 10 inches big or smaller. Right. So what I think is going to happen is, you know, there's this rumor of like an update to the Mac mini. Mm -hmm. You know, people found some code in the latest, up, uh, you know, OS 10.5.6 update that said, oh, Mac Mini revisions. I think the Mac Mini, as we know, is gonna die, and, and the new Mac Mini will be a netbook. A netbook rather than a desktop. Yes. I mean, it might be overpriced. <laughs> it might be, you know, $699, $799 netbook, but mm -hmm. I think that's what it will be. I, I think I have a fun fun uh, activity you and I can do. Okay. We should call up, because the, we used to do this when we worked there, at least <laughs> I did. We should call up the Apple Store, and uh, feel free to do this at home. <laughs> have them look up. Uh, part numbers. Oh yes, yes. That aren't out yet. So if you look at say the current MacBook Pro, maybe it's M eighty eight thirty two. Just say, hey, could you look up M eighty eight thirty three for me and let me know what the you price think is. They're gonna fall for that. I think some of them will fall for it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> we might have to wait to the day before Mac right. World, but yeah, might be possible. So keep that in mind. Just try some numbers that would make sense. <laughs> well, they, those those kind of numbers tend to leak from like places like Best Buy mm -hmm. the day before Mac World. That's true. Now, so they'll That's probably true. come out. So keep. Uh, Keep tuned for that. Don't forget, again, live coverage here, 11.30 a.m. on Tuesday. And also, details soon about uh, how you can share your memories of Macworld. Oh, interesting. Here on the Digital Lifestyle. So that's it for Root Access. We'll see you in the new year. Any resolutions? I am going to stop... Uh Stop playing so many video games, I think. I'm going to cut back. My hands are... I'm getting, like, carpal tunnel from the Xbox. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to cut back on those a From the bit. Xbox. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you next time, everybody. Oh, the green screen will be back. Thank God.